We are live because I'm saying Mr. Blitz Tech. Revenue GS. Birthday J. And it's that time when you get slapped up with Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 1. Is We're it? finally here. I know you've been waiting. So have I. So have I. I guess Sam hasn't been. Um, it's not that so with Demon Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 He wants Demon Slayer. Cool. All right. Let's step in. Things were busy that summer. I bet the frequent disasters of the past year probably played a role. But cursed spirits were springing up like maggots. Yep. Exercise. Absorb. Over and over. Exercise. Absorb. No one else understands. First spirits taste like. Tastes like spell when Gami Derby Rag used to clean up shit and farm. Mm, Exercise. Oh. Absorb. Whoa. I chose to be a jujutsu sorcerer who saves others. That's what I've been telling myself ever since that day. <laughs> ever since that day. This is Apparently, why you know this used to be the home of the president of a company who managed a local chain of barbecue restaurants. However, in July of last year, remember that whole mad cow disease problem? Well, he had dealt a fatal blow to his restaurants and buried him in debt. He wound up committing suicide with his family. Those rumors only brought about more rumors, and the damage just continued to spread. Haunted locations have always attracted a high quotient of speculation. And nowadays, thanks to the internet, rumors can spread at an unbelievable speed. That means it's all just even more work for us Jujutsu sorcerers to investigate and eliminate. Co-workers and friends who trace the paths of those who disappear will find that they become victims themselves. We have to sever the root of this problem. Quickly. HQ sent us to investigate because they reached the same conclusion. Emerge from darkness, blacker still. Purify that. There's no need for a veil. Uh, huh? I don't sense the presence of any curses around here. You can cast the veil later if we end up attempting it from outside. Uh, it's open. Seems like something's blocking the door, though. And it's all around us, too. Let's get going. I don't need that, but you do. Right. Yes, I really do. Trying it this season, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, the visions are mad. <sighs> Incredible. Oh, it still has electricity. For now, let's just have a look around. I'll take this floor. You take the second. Huh? All by myself? <laughs> Is there a problem with that? <laughs> Definitely go for that horror look. Jeez. What's that with the stairs? Where? This I'm is the last seat. one. Go from there to stairs and then it's like... Alleys. Hmm? The other one's definitely using a purse bait, man. You've got some impressive punch there. Please don't startle me like that! You were already startled before I got here. Are you done exploring the first floor? 
This is the first floor. Huh? I was walking down the first floor's hallway when I found you. What? No way. No, I entered a room at the end of the hallway. A box of candy. A bag of potato chips. A can. A backpack. A switch. I've already seen these things three times. I wouldn't get lost. Well, well. It would seem that we're already in the belly of the beast. Huh? For real? Now, quiz time. Tell me, Utehime, how would you break this barrier? This hallway is repeating itself. At first, I... Huh, I'm surprised you could touch that. At first, I thought it was shaped like a donut. But we passed four of the marks you need, right? I calculated how many paces were between them and got... 122, 203, 157, and 270. So, the spacing between your marks were completely random. Which means that there's a very good possibility this barrier is patching spaces together. So, if we both run down the hallway at top speed, then at some point... When we run on the hill, we run in opposite directions. In sync. Oh, I see! quickly run in opposite directions, that makes it harder for the cursed spirit to hold the barrier together. And once we have that opening, we might be able to get out. 100 points. Well, that's settled. What? Never mind. <laughs> I'll think about it. Fine. Okay. Ready? <laughs> we did it! <laughs> 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 I'm here to save you! I'm like Gojo. Uda Hime. <laughs> That's mad what he was doing at the beginning, how he got rid of the, the demons and then he was swallowing it. That wasn't Gojo. I said that was Gojo when he was younger. And the uh, women. That's him. Okay. <laughs> you crying? If I was crying, would mm. you console me? I definitely like that. <laughs> oh, but you wouldn't cry, May. You're strong. I don't need your help! Okay. Don't swallow it. I'll absorb it later. Satoru, it's not nice to pick on the weak, you know? Look at the beauty it takes on the strong. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one naturally fanning the flames, Gato. I never will be. Don't let yourself turn out like Uda Hime. Uh, shut up. Huh? Wait, two days? Ah. Was the cursed spirits barrier one of those that messes with time? It means that we've got two full days of labor. So I was just thinking about how to rewrite the invoice for extra fees now owed to me. She's uh -oh. planning to overcharge again. Importantly, what about the veil? Huh? <sighs> Next stop, yesterday's large explosion rocked Shiwa. And on top of everything, you forgot the veil. <laughs> Sensei! I'm at oh, the worst part of Minute Black Sugar. Jeez! Does a veil even really necessary in the first place? You never said no one to see your knob, right? They can't see cursed spirits or cursed techniques anyway. But it's not good if they do see them. The strongest deterrent against the outbreak of a cursed spirit is the mental calm of the populace. That's exactly why we have to conceal all of these threats as much as possible. To make sure they never ever get to see them. Yeah! Working out for the week and protecting them is honestly so exhausting. Survival of the weakest. That's the proper shape of a proper society. The weak help each other and discourage strength. Listen, Satoru. Jujutsu exists to protect non-Jujutsu sorcerers. Moral arguments? I hate moral arguments. 
assigning reasons and responsibility to strength is what those who are weak tend to do. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> no. How are you gonna quit making yourself feel better by spouting all this bullshit? <laughs> Perfect time for a smoke break. Take this outside, Satoru. What are you feeling, Lulu? Go by yourself if you want. Your mission has two goals. The Star Platinum vessel is the one compatible with Tinker. You are to escort that girl and erase her. Escort some brat and then erase her? That's right. He's finally gone senile. It is spring. His head's probably full of being an ex principal. Tengen possesses the cursed technique of immortality. But it's not eternal youth. Not a problem if all he did was get old. But after his body ages to a certain point, the cursed technique begins rewriting his body. <laughs> Evolution. He'll cease to be human and become a higher form of existence. What's so bad about that? Sounds sweet! According to Tengen, those who reach that state of being no longer have any free will. It means that Tengen would cease to be Tengen any longer. I get it, bro. It would be fine if he did you all into Metal Greymon. But we can't have him turning into Skull Greymon. <laughs> so we can start him off from the beginning. Alright, right, that's tough, bro. Alright, that's tough. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. Q would be after her. But why would the star religious group want to kill some young kid? Their object of worship is the pure form of Tengen. Allowing the star plasma vessel and impurity in their minds to blend into him is unforgivable. <laughs> the star religious group is made up of non-sorcerers. I don't think we need to pay them any mind. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. We are the strongest, after all. <laughs> I mean, that's why Tengen asked for us specifically, right? You know, Satoru. I've been meaning to say this for a while. I think you should really stop being so full of yourself. Huh? I guess he knew he was the yeah, nicest in some way. Come on, Satoru. Whatever. We can talk about it later. I like how they're vastly different in their beliefs. Mm. Huh? Oh! Jeez! Huh? You alive? Jeez! I'm still breathing. You think we'll be blamed if the kid died from that? <laughs> <laughs> Stop making us stand out so much. We just got called out for that this morning. So this girl is the star plasma vessel. Uniforms. Your sorcerer is from Jujutsu High. Hand over the kid, or I'll kill you. I can't quite hear you. Come closer so we can talk. Nice catch. That was a close one. <laughs> Whoa. You're Satoru Gojo, right? You're famous. I hear you're strong. Let me find out if the rumors are true. Sure, game. Well, let's set some rules. Rules? You see, I don't want to get yelled at for going overboard. So if you cry and apologize, then I won't kill you. That's our rule. You damn punk! It has started. The Star Religious Group doesn't have the power to fight against Jujutsu sorcerers. Guaranteed. How about it, Sam? Want to get in on the assassination of the Star Plasma Vessel? Mm -mm. I'm not a Zenin anymore. I took my wife's name. It's Fushiguro now. Wait. But like, sure. What? Count Bruh. me in on all the fun. No. Regular Jujitsu Kaisen, fam. <laughs> no breaks, no nothing. Like, straight into the team. Oh, man. No need to start asking questions about where's this character then and where's that character. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I think we're forgetting the season. Uh, again? You don't think so? Oh. Why? 
I ain't been a prequel. I just thought like they were just focusing on these man's background. Oh, this yeah. is a prequel to the first movie. Yeah, this is a this is a prequel. It seems like this is how Gojo yeah. and I can't remember that guy. Yeah, uh, um, Buddy uh, May. We ain't doing that the whole season, bro. You don't think so? No way. Hmm. No way. No, that's crazy. That's crazy. I I thought they were focusing on on him, much like you're saying, because see how before it was like it just gives more context to this character. Because, like, last time we was like, yo, why is he so OP? Uh-huh. And now they, it's like they've gone back to give more context to, into the world and to also him. Being and like, which would make more sense in why, like, you give us the context early mm-hmm. that's into why he's like this and then you get us back to, to the, the present future, time. To the present time. Bro, there's no, uh, it would make no sense to have season two just all in the, like, I, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, it's anime, in it? I don't know what you man, <laughs> don't know what you man are doing out here. But I would, I would presume that we start off with this. Like, how much backstory do we? We don't need a whole twenty-four. That's why I asked. You don't need twenty-four episodes of that. Right. Mm. No way, bro. And the way Jujutsu Kaisen moves, excuse me. Yeah, they're pacing it. Yeah, the way they move, it's definitely not going to be like that. Mm. Maybe. Maybe you know what? Maybe that's the first half, mm. and then the second half they move on to the thing in it because like even. Even them going into the whole economics of the world, which we didn't, never touched before, the religion as well, which was non-existent before. It was just about the students and the competition between the schools and whether they were fighting, which is this guy that just showed at the end. It's good they brought that in as well. <clears throat> so. Yeah, that was tough. So, now, nah, man, good way to start, start the season and, and just set the levels. Yeah, visuals was crazy. I loved that, man. Yeah, I loved that they like, tried to do something else, different styles. Uh, the introduction of those other two characters as well. Legit, man. Yeah, I love the, the horror element to it. Yeah, I just want to know why, like, I, I do want to, like, deep dive further into why Gojo is, so... is, is, is nice and mm. then always so cocky about it. And I want to also dive into the other guy, why he's the complete opposite, even though being what it seems like just as good as Gojo. Right. So... Like, I like the, the opposing sides anyway. Obviously, these guys are always saying, oh, the respect it. Oh, and also, we know in the present time, Gojo's like, why is this man running to school? When like, it, should be, it should be me kind of thing. So I, I do want to kind of see that. And I want to see how nice he is here mm. to compare to how freaking OP he is in the present time as well. I still think he's OP here already, bro. Like, even then, where he was like, yo, let's do rules, like, mm. just so he, like, you know what I'm saying, like, yo. Yeah. And the way he stop the knives while he's still on the phone, yeah, like, exactly. like, he's not paying attention. It's like, it, he already seems OP, so maybe we will get the answer to how much stronger he gets, but mm. I would like the answer to like, why are you like this right now. Yeah. yeah because true. it's like, I don't feel like we've gone further enough back. Yeah, to, like... Yeah, to be like, that's why I also don't think we'll be here mm. the whole time, because mm. he's already not, he's already the nicest. Mm. Get me. You see, at the beginning... Right, right at the beginning, where the guy was in the alleyway, and mm-hmm. then he, he disposed of the 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 demon, then he swallowed the thing. Mm-hmm. Was that like much later? They just showed a flashback, and then they came back to the to the current present because the way he disposed of him, swallowed the thing, and then the transition between him and Gojo, mm-hmm. and then it kind of went into like present time. No, so what we're watching now was before that event. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I mean. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah, yeah. So they kind of show just what's what's not current, yeah. and then they show what's current. Mm-hmm. Okay, but that that looked like he's already moving in the opposite way from Gojo. Yeah, that's why I feel like when they're in the middle of the street, that's when oh, this is how we come to this conclusion. Right. Because I don't know, like I said, he's uh, devouring monsters. I don't feel like that's a Kaizen thing anyway. The way that he's it, not supposed yeah. to do that. There's all monsters like monsters or demons like that. So because that, that's why I got confused. Because I thought oh. Cause, cause see the the color of the ball, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, is that why he got? He ended up getting white hair, cause I thought at first, oh, that's Gojo at the beginning, mm-hmm. but then you said, no, that's not Gojo. But then later on, I did see, yeah, that's not Gojo, mm-hmm. that's a remake. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, man, it's gonna be interesting to see how these lot are gonna part ways. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first second season of Jujutsu Kaisen. Make sure you drop your comments down below about the the episode. And we shall see you next time. I'm Raven, your GS. So, uh, Mr. Blitzstick. Birthday, Jay. Peace. What happened? Nothing happened. Nothing except for the war. Too many people died in this land. All that pain forced me to grow up. What does that mean? 
that even innocent, foolish children will grow up in the face of pain.